77 years ago today, one of the most important days in baseball history, the day that Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. Now, each and every April 15th is rightfully celebrated as Jackie Robinson Day around Major League Baseball. That's why you see every player on the field in every game wearing number 42 tonight. Bassett, he is a kitchen sink guy. StatCast actually has him down for throwing eight different types of pitches this year and he loves pitching here at the newly renovated Rogers Center a 2.78 home ERA as opposed to a 4.8 road ERA. So here's Anthony Volpe the second year shortstop for the Yankees but a nice quiet ground out for Bassett to get the night started. Now here's another tough customer and a number two hitter Ron Soto. This one is in the air to deep center but it is playable for Kevin Kiermeyer. And Chris Bassett looks at Juan Soto and says, ooh, I might have gotten away with one right there. Judge 12 for 58. He's hitting three straight. Fastball called strike three. Throws Judge with 95. It's a one, two, three, top of the first for Chris Bassett. Good look at Luis Heel. Blue Jays saw him seven days ago, seven days between starts, and he's definitely a power pitcher. That four-seam fastball averages 97 miles an hour. High ball four. And it's ball four. So back-to-back -back walks here, two on with nobody out. Well, this is part of the growing pains when you're developing some young pitching. Luis Heel has a big-time arm, but sometimes erratic. Swing and a chopper, left side of the infield, waiting back on it. Volpe flips to second for one over to first. It is not in time. Bichette beats it out. Down to third goes Springer, so they get the force, and there'll be runners at the corners with one away for Justin Turner. Swing and a miss. On the changeup, big strikeout of Turner, two away. But if you locate a changeup down and away when you can average 98 with your fastball, you're going to get a lot of swings that look like that one. Springer's at third. Bichette's at first, two away. Bottom of the first scoreless game. Here's the lefty, Kevin Biggio. They got him picked off, and he's out, and that's the end of the inning. Bichette looked like he was going. And then he'll fire to Rizzo to get Bichette. Here's Anthony Rizzo. Swing and a miss. Bassett gets him. Well, Bassett's got good command early in this game. He's been able to hit his spots with his pitches, and that's what he'll be most satisfied with. And Rizzo swings and misses. Bassett pitches upstairs as good as anybody in baseball. Line drive, that's a base hit for Torres. On a 3-2 count, you can't just sit there and say he's going to come right at me with a fastball out over the plate. It's probably going to have a little movement, maybe a cutter, maybe a sweeper, maybe the change. So you got to think middle the other way. Up the middle, it's a base hit. Glaber was going, so he'll round second. He'll go to third. Verdugo with a single of center. Yankees have runners on first and third with one out. Here's Oswaldo Cabrera, three home runs, 11 ribbies. There's a base hit to left field. Torres will score, moving to second for Dugo. Oswaldo Cabrera picks up his 12th ribby of the year. It's a 1-0 Yankee lead. I think they found the camera. Yeah. They're on to us. Soto and Torres have <laughs> found the camera. <laughs> We're busted. They're on to us. Verdugo will tag and come to third, but uh, boy, I think Bassett will take that trade off every day. The fact that that one stayed in the ballpark. So two down, runners at first and third. Here's Trent Grisham. And another fly ball. This one is playable. Kiermeyer is there. And the side is retired, so the Yankees get the first run of the night, but that's it here in the top of the second. As Kevin Abishio leads it off. Hook down the right field line, fair ball. That's a ground rule double for Biggio, a nine-game hit streak, and he's on second to lead off the bottom of the second. Missed outside, tough take there by Kirk, and again, it's first and second, nobody out. Missed up and in, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. He's faced seven batters and walk four of them. Bases loaded for the Blue Jays. They're looking to cash in here with Isaiah Kiner Falefa coming up. The former Yankee spent two years with the Bronx Bombers. Two high ball four and that'll bring in a run. The fifth walk that he has given up. Now Kevin Kiermeyer. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Heal as Kiermeyer down swinging. So one down and back to the top of the order for George Springer. And that one's going to get to the backstop. And here comes Kirk to score. Change up down and away. That was the pitch that Heel actually had had better command on so far in this game. And I will say a bit of a leisurely jog from Austin Wells back there too. For Alejandro Kirk, a guy with second percentile sprint speed, I, I think he ought to get back there a bit quicker. So Varsho now at third, Kiner Falefa at second. The Yankees will concede a run on a ground ball. Varsho did not come home. Maybe worried that ball was going to carry out and be caught, but Varsho decided to go back to third so nobody comes in. 
one. Yankees will sign up, giving up just two runs. Blue Jays had the bases loaded, nobody out. Swinging a hard grounder over to third, gobbled up by Cabrera. Strong throw to first, and it is in time. And the Yankees and Luis Heel get out of this inning, only surrendering two runs. Heel has really struggled with command in the first two innings. He's walked five, giving up just one hit. Bounced out towards second and dropped. Labor Torres can't make the play. It's going to go as a base hit for Bo Bichette. Has Turner down on strikes. And it is in there called strike three of four seamer at 98. And he has back to back strikeouts here in the bottom of the third. So we'll see if Alejandro Kirk can come up with a two out base hit with Bichette in scoring position. That's a fair ball. It's going to get down into the corner. Bichette will come in to score easily. His first extra base hit of the season is an RBI double. 3-1 Blue Jays. And a much needed run. They need to keep their foot on that gas pedal. And Alejandro Kirk, good piece of hitting right there. It's 3-1 Blue Jays, top of the fourth. Two out, space is empty. And retires Cabrera. Nice play by IKF. Had to... Make a long run to get that ball, and he finishes off a 1-2-3 inning. Left side of the infield, pulled towards second, 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. There's a four-seamer at 97 from Luis Hill, and he gets Kiermaier, and the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Four-seamer at 99 from Luis Hill, and he retires the side in order here in the bottom of the fourth. We go to the fifth. Because now you got to deal with the top of the order with a man on. Runner goes. Throw down. And safe at second. The Blue Jays have asked for a challenge. Ooh. Ooh he's out easily. You got him right in the wallet. Yep. Grisham's not even waiting. He's seen it too. He's walking off. 0-2 oh, to Volpe. Called strike three. Frozen with the cutter. Volpe goes down. And so do the Yankees in the top of the fifth. Seeing Bassett the third time through. And Bassett's been great through five. One run, four hits. He has walked one, struck out three, and Soto, Judge, and Arizzo are all 0 for 2 tonight. And that's ball four. The guy who walks about as much as anybody walks here to lead off the sixth. Now the problem with that is the next guy is a big slugger. And Bassett strikes him out. Gets Judge for the second time tonight. What a big out that is. And Chris Bassett just blows that 95-mile-an-hour fastball right by him, middle, middle. That's a pitch that he should hit nine out of ten times, but he has no clue what's coming. Judge is looking at all those seven different pitches. <laughs> <laughs> so one out here in the sixth inning. Now here's Anthony Rizzo, a strikeout and a line out tonight. Bouncing ball to second. Biggio charges, flips it to Bichette for one. Laser to first, 4-6-3, inning ending double plays. And Chris Bassett is through six innings. In support of Chris Bassett, who's been outstanding himself. One run on four hits. He's allowed two walks and has four strikeouts, and he is pitching another gem tonight. Swing and a miss, strike three. Cutter outside, Torres chases. Nearing 100 pitches, Schneider will go to the lefty. Tim Meza with Verdugo, the left-handed hitter, about to come up. But Chris Bassett walks off the mound to a raucous, well-deserved applause. Six and a third, four hits, one run, one walk, five strikeouts had a boy from his skipper John Schneider he got them through the tough part of the order now it's over to Tim Mazur's coming off his best outing of the season as into the corner a sliding catch is made by Dalton Varsho getting more and more familiar with that new corner down in left field and after that day the game was changed forever Dennis Santana Yankee third pitcher Marinaccio with two scoreless innings on him relief of heel and Biggio down looking one two again coming to Kirk here it is swung on drilled in the air center field deep but playable for Grisham so we'll go to the ninth last chance for the Yankees Soto judge Rizzo do up against a guy throwing the ball about as well as anybody last two appearances for Jimmy Garcia a total of three innings nine up nine down seven strikeouts this one to left center field and here comes Varsho for the first out. Now Aaron Judge 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts tonight. To right field looked like Springer was fighting the lights initially finds the ball and makes the catch. The Yankees have had two base runners since the third inning. So the Blue Jays and out away the batter is Anthony Rizzo. And this is a well hit ball deep left center field. Yeah! Varsho's got it. Jimmy Garcia sets down Soto Judge and Rizzo. Take the opening game of the series by a score of 3-1. to one.